Hey guys, welcome to another video 100% in English. I seriously love this series. Today I'll be talking about a challenge that I set for myself for this year, which is speaking Spanish fluently. How cool is that? The time has finally come. And in fact, I wish I were starting from the bottom with no reference, no knowledge, no experience, no anything in Spanish. But reality is I do have some bad marks and some bad experiences and bad stories with the language in my timeline. When I was a kid, I had to move and change schools a lot. And at some point I had to start studying at the school that had Spanish in their schedule and I had never studied Spanish before. It would be my first experience ever. And instead of having a nice and super welcoming Spanish class with a nice teacher, what I got, <laughs> what I got, ladies and gentlemen, was quite different. My teacher made me learn or better memorize the lyrics of a song in Spanish so I could interpret and dance with a colleague in front of my classroom. Yeah, that was me. The new girl with no friends had to be picked by a colleague to perform this amazing song. Yes, the girl who knew nothing about Spanish should do the same as the kids who were learning Spanish since they were like babies. It's needless to say that I felt like crying the whole presentation, presentation, test, what, what was that? I felt really bad and if that wasn't enough, the teacher gave me a little lecture on how to express my feelings better so next time I could do better. I remember her face and even her haircut. She called my attention and I got a bad grade. And I was humiliated. What an incredible bundle to develop great love for a language. And every single time that I think about this experience and the opportunity, the goal that this teacher had and what she did with it was like, it was so simple, right? Teach Spanish. But no, let's make it a little bit different. Let's ruin everything. Let's ruin this girl's expectations and perceptions on Spanish. She simply did the opposite of what was expected from her. But that's okay. I, I won't judge her. I won't. Yeah. She thought that she was being cool by giving a score to a student based on their performance on arts. I didn't sign up for that. And a little detail that I almost missed is that I enrolled to this school in the middle of the semester, so that's why I got into this situation out of nowhere. And fun fact, I knew that I wouldn't stay there for a long time because my parents already got tickets for us. We were moving to the south of Brazil in like, four months. So I was in a place that I didn't want to make friends. I didn't want to, you know, develop anything. So it was, you know, my personal life got mixed with the situation and everything related to that school as well. It's like ugh, bad memories. And because of this little happening in my life, this little story, I never felt joy listening to anything in Spanish. Not even songs, I mean, which is something that I'm very obsessed about. For example, Rebeldes, yeah, I know that my generation is crazy about them, but I am not. Every girl my age would listen to that and I just couldn't bear the Spanish there. Maybe my max would be like doing some Shakira here and there, but nothing besides her, <laughs> nothing beyond that. And here I am, probably 16 years later, trying to change where this thing is going. I truly want and I know that I am redefining what Spanish is in my heart and in my mind. And the most amazing part of it is that I've been studying and learning Spanish for eight days in a row, okay? It's been eight days that I started this journey and now I invite you to join me because I'm gonna be sharing a lot of things with you guys. I started a challenge with my students in which all of us should study for 30 minutes for 30 days. So they are studying English through my method and I am studying Spanish on my own. I know it's not easy, but this is the place I find myself in and it's kind of cool, you know, it gives me some thrill, so I think it's, it's good. So I go live whenever I start studying and this is kind of interesting and crazy at the same time because I feel that I am with them and I know that they feel that they are with me. It's like 
we're sharing this studying space. So my mic is muted and I just share some things at the beginning and at the end of my studies. So at the beginning of the live stream, I usually share what I'm expecting to study on that day and what I'm gonna do. And at the end of the live stream, I share what I did, what are my conclusions, what were my difficulties and what I'm going through. So that's cool because we are sharing the whole process and it's like a diary. It's a diary of all of my dedication, effort and development in the language. I share my difficulties, as I said, tips and tricks and everything that I've been using to improve my experience with the language. Because as I said, I'm creating a new relationship. I'm redefining, I'm creating new brain paths. <laughs> and I'm trying to give it a new meaning. And I've been also doing these live streams because I want to use everything that I've been recording here on this channel too. So do you guys remember that I recorded all the process of my moving from Brazil to the US? So this is exactly the same thing, but I'm recording the process of becoming fluent in Spanish. How amazing is that? Yes. So everything is gonna be used in the future of this channel and I won't share any other spoilers because I think this is enough. Enough is enough. Because guys, I'll tell you, I don't start these projects out of the blue. No, no, no. But the point of this video is to challenge you, not only because it's the name of this video, because like studying Spanish has been a challenge for me, but the idea of this video is I want you to reflect, to think and start acting. Take some time and reflect on the things that you're afraid of trying. When was the last time that you gave up doing something that you thought it would be good to you, but you just, you know, you let it go because somebody told you something or because you were afraid or because you weren't sure. You know the situation that you weren't sure of what you would do, but then you were like, oh, I don't know what other people are gonna think. Let's talk about it. If you need some motivation or inspiration to do them, you should follow Mark because he knows things. He's the right guy to teach you how much time, effort and energy you should put into like relationships and projects and goals and everything that is around you, basically. And his content is pretty inspiring and amazing and creative too, so I think you're gonna have some fun there. Okay, okay, but going back, what about me? Why am I learning Spanish? Why now? First, I'm doing this for the challenge because I want to motivate my students. I want to show them that I really care, that I'm there for them. And as I usually say in Portuguese, we are in the same boat. I really care about their English studies and I feel that most of the time we feel that we are alone while we are studying. So if we're together, then you're not alone. And this is a great way of holding ourselves accountable. So when you have a person who's there with you, so both of you are dedicating your time to a certain activity. This is to hold yourself accountable to an activity and to a person. And secondly, of course, I do want to overcome this trauma and these bad feelings about Spanish. <laughs> because this is something that I tell my students all the time, that we need to overcome our fears. So I kind of need to practice what I preach when it comes to language. Because for other things, I already do it. But like, hey, <laughs> Spanish, what up? So... Here I am, facing the challenge I've had for the past 16 years. And it's incredible to feel that I'm building from the bottom up. Like, starting something out of nowhere, like, that's very exciting to me. Because, like, I'm an English teacher, I'm graduated, I've been teaching the language for the past seven years, and now it's time to go back to basics. Let's feel the foundation again, let's feel the fear and the excitement and the shyness and the bad and the good things, it's time to learn a new language again. And really, just by saying this, I get very excited. As you can tell, I'm very excited, guys. I have no qualms. I'm sure this experience is gonna be like one of a kind. Because I'm not embarrassed to make mistakes. Because I'm completely embracing the journey and I know that I'm already getting the best out of it. Last year, I kind of had a different challenge, as I mentioned and shared with you in another video 100% in English. But I kind of needed the same behavior. So through consistency on my daily workouts, I developed discipline. And now this discipline that I developed last year is going to serve me back on my daily Spanish studies. And, I sh and I'm sure I have no doubts. I know that is this consistency with the discipline that will take me to fluency. Of course, along with the approach and methodology I'm using, right? But anyway, I'm here to invite you to be part of it too. What are you freaking waiting for? A sign? Well, this video is right here in front of you. Do you need anything else? I feel that I'm going back and forth, but I didn't share everything. So let's talk about the challenge once again. Let's go back. The main idea of studying 30 minutes per day 
for 30 days is to develop this discipline, but not only that, a new habit. So you can build and you can fit something new that you weren't used to into your routine. For me, this is the best way of learning English and any other given language actually that you may want to learn. Treat English as you treat your diet. Plan your English studies as you plan your workouts. So the point here is for you to bring English into the tangible world. If you do so, you will reach fluency. Now let's see what the future holds for my Spanish. I'm very excited. Keep an eye here on my channel for updates. And one thing you can be very sure about is that this channel won't start talking about Spanish. If one day I decide that I want to teach Spanish, I'll create a different channel for that. Relax. I already have three, so why not having another one? But because I'm already going through this process, I'm gonna take advantage of this situation and this experience to share with you guys tips that you can apply to your English studies. It's like a two-way road. And most likely, I'm gonna be sharing some examples throughout the videos, just as a reference for you guys. And now, you already know why. And the fact is, it's been eight days that this journey has started and I can attest, affirm, and say as many times as needed, but I feel that I'm truly redefining Spanish. And I had many aha moments during my studies, and I think this is an amazing sign. In the future, I wanna show you guys how my notebook is, how I do my notes, and how everything is going. But so far, this is what you're gonna get. But the video is not over, ladies and gents. You do have some homework right there, okay? So four things for you. Okay, let's go. I want you to reflect on four things. First one being, what are the things you were curious about but you never took some time to study them better? Number two, is there any language out there that you enjoy or that you would like to learn? Number three, how much time, like daily or weekly, are you willing to dedicate into this new habit or this new study that you're adding into your routine? Number four, what is something that you do every single day that you could use to associate with the new habit? So, you know, that will be easier for you to follow in your schedule. I'm sure you'll be more than able to take it from there once you have answered all of these questions. And guys, come on, we still have 11 months until the end of 2024 and still, this is just a year. That doesn't mean much at the same time that it does. How do you see yourself at the end of the year? Or how do you see yourself starting next year? Or how do you see yourself in five months? I mean, we need to be aware of what we are doing because as James Clear has said in Atomic Habits, we become our habits. We become, we are the result of our habits. So what are we doing today? This is the question that we need to be asking to know how we're gonna be tomorrow, at least try to know what tomorrow holds, right? What the future holds. <laughs> and as I usually say, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for new learnings. There's always room for more knowledge. I hope this video has inspired you somehow and I hope to see you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button, click on the notification bell as well. And that was a good ride. Bye. <laughs>